Hi everyone, welcome to a new series, The Expanse from Telltale Games. The Artemis, built a salvager. Uh, listen, come on! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Blast him out into space. Wow, what an opening. Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are going to be fucking rich, but mostly you and me. Yeah, it looks like a derelict ship. It's another wreck. Not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress mm. call. Military Those ship, UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But, the past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. Right, so here we are then. New game, The Expanse, set in space, as you can probably tell. And it's from Telltale, so there'll be decisions that we have to make along the way of this adventure, uh, which may determine not only what happens to us, but the rest of the crew as well. So he knows we're worth more. Anybody who could pee off someone with that dangerous must be pretty effing valuable. So, um, what should we reply? You don't own me. Because I think that's clearly what it was, wasn't it? He obviously thought, well, you've got a backstory. I know it. I can kind of manipulate you going forward. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Don't make the same mistake he did. I work for you, but you don't own me. <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware. Just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal. No, come on. We're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. That's We've pretty good. we got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Now drink. Hmm. There must be something. Um, yeah, why does he want us to drink? Has he laced the scotch or something? I'll celebrate later. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. Yeah. We're going to play it really cool. Suit yourself. I'll keep it waiting for when you return. Hmm. Something's going on. 50-50 with the captain seems a little bit too good to be true, doesn't it? No matter what he thinks of us and our reputation. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest and last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Khan! Right, so yeah. Unlike other Telltale games, it's not a point and click. You actually move the uh, person around. If you get lost, press F and ping directional finder. Bing. There's Khan. I don't think it's that Khan from the old Star Trek universe, but you never know. Hello, Khan. Having a cigarette? Khan, new orders Cigari. from the captain. I know. 
He already sent me the coordinates. Captain thinks that this could be... Last score we'll ever need. All of a century. I got the pep talk from him. What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. <laughs> oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. I don't know what I was expecting. Not her, to be honest. Somebody younger, I think. Uh, oh dear, I made the lackey upset. Forgive me. Um, let's let her have it. Do we, do we give her a... She doesn't seem like somebody who takes a lot of crap, does she? You know, she's been there, seen it all. She's not going to really respond to us giving it um, large. So let's just play it off and just, you know, keep an eye on Khan. Fashing fun. You will bet. I'll picture to you eventually. You want to braid somebody's hair? Go find Maya. I'm busy. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Yeah, the voice sounds like she's got she's been smoking those Somebody cigars for some that time. Ship to hell and back. Oh yeah. I should check the command console for more information on the Urshinobi. The Urshinobi, okay. Who named it that, honestly? Right, let's have a look there. XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. Cool, cool. Right, so we got uh, it's around Jupiter orbit. This is the um, Urshinabi. It's uh, Leonidas, Leonidas class. Um, does it give us a. I thought it was going to give us a little image of the Leonidas class vessel. Uh, mission specific specifications. Enter the ship, scan the area, and return with any valuables. Potential risks. No heart. Sorry, no one knows why the Urshinabi was in this area, or why they'd never sent out a distress call. Whatever caused the wreck, pirates, Martian forces. Ooh, uh, might still be in the vicinity. Crew. We have got C drummer. That's us. A Mor Morovs. Mor no Morozov. Um, are Morozov relations probably scavenge, uh, Castillo scanning and reconnaissance? Okay, so we're gonna have a three man team or three person team going over and somebody scanning. Um, it's a brand new wreck. If Cox's intel is good, the United Nations will likely send another ship to investigate the loss of one of their navy, but that could take weeks. Cox is overconfident as always, but there could be valuables on board. All right, okay. What else does it want? Oh, Artemis Logs. Here we go. Uh, Garrison Cox is the captain. Exec uh, XO is um, us, drummer. Pilot is Khan Tran. Medic is Virgil Marx. Engineer is Maya Castillo. Crew, Arlen Morozov and Rayen Morozov. Okay. Uh, in assemble this interesting crew. The, the twins, Arlen and Rayen, are the only other belters. The rest come from the inner planets Maya and Mars, Virgil Oh, Maya from Mars, Virgil from Luna, and Khan and Cox from Earth. None of the inners really talk about what brought them to the belt, but that's no surprise. You don't become a scavenger because things are going well at home. Okay. So we've got to brief the twins and brief Virgil. Okay. So we got our we got ships diagnostics. Okay, that's everything looking good there. What have we got? Um, crash couch. Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, any other the gunnery station? We haven't Ooh. had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked, just in case. Okay, so we got a bit of inner dialogue if we ask um, some interesting questions to ourselves. Right, let's go and find the twins then. Time to find the rest of the crew. Shift to run faster. What have we got here? They crates. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it? Three days ago. Lazy gentleman. 
Well, we can have a word with them about that then, can't we? Right, she's got a bit of a turn of pace on her, which is quite good. So, crew deck down there. Let's just continue to have a little bit of a look around and sort of find our way. Captain's office. Of course. Cox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work, doing absolutely nothing. I can't see him. Right, okay, let's get down to the crew quarters then. Right, airlock prep log. New uh, arm armistice log unlocked. Okay. So are we technically with the gas company? Because it looks like we um I used to suit up mine for gas or something. Everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now I keep my back suit in my room. Cool. Okay. That's where we go and get the equipment to um, suit up. What have we got around here? We've got a sign. Maya has a plan for this meditation session. She's going to bring her makeup kit and wait until Virgil gets into a deep trance. Then go to town on him. I may have to watch. Okay. So who do we have here? Virgil. Virgil. Virgil! Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in auto doc repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. I don't know what that means. Um, mayor can fix it. Can it be replaced? This looks like the kind of job that Maya would kill for. While Miss Castillo can no doubt install a new crystal, I'm afraid we'll need a new one first. I can only imagine what ancient welding equipment the captain dug this stone out of. But we'll need a high quality gem for surgical work. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. Uh, no. We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back. And I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. So, uh, obviously this is uh, slow going to begin with. It's all about introducing the characters, introducing the setting. And, Should uh, I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? <laughs> and uh, something I don't. And, you know, a little bit of um, the, the forebodingness me, of the mission A big selling ahead. point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. No. We never have enough supplies. But Virgil always seems to make do. Where do I look for a replacement crystal? Aside from medical, high-end navigation or communication systems use them as well. Right, okay. We'll have a look when we go over to the other ship then on the, the navigation side to whether or not we can get what a crystal which we could... Uh... No one on this ship likes to talk about their past. But Virgil is a real mystery. Only Cox knows his deal. And he's not saying... So it seems that the captain is uh, got a number of crew, oh the, the members of the crew who all seem to have some sort of checkered past, and he's the one who's the only one with all the information. And that strikes me as somebody who could manipulate events to his choosing by having dirt on everyone else. So, mm. I used to suit up in the prep room with everyone. Oh. Turned around, we've gone back to this place. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now I keep my back suit in my room. Okay. Good job. So we actually want to go. We went that way last time. 
Oh, oh mid bay, it's got crew quarters, mess hall. Let's try the mess hall. Uh, what's on this note? I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. Whoever stole my barbecue sauce, I will find you. Well, you know, these what's are the, this time? the big issues. You're not getting enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow, just let me go. It just fell, okay? Well, I tell you, Tinsha, you stupid prick. Quit fucking up. Boss man, make it stop. Shut it, Okaka. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> um, let's cut this out. We got work to do. Enough of this, Falota. And you wonder why I have to treat you like Maliwala. <laughs> Kids. We got a job, Baratman. Listen up. Nah. Fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said, he said, this the next job. And he's the boss man. <sighs> Just like series. Bossing everyone around. Only this time, no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? Hmm. Should we smack him or do we ignore him? No, let, let's. I think we're coming across as somebody who doesn't take no crap off no one. So let's put him in his place. This isn't serious. On the ship, I'm the EXO. So she knows them from Shit. previous. Interesting. I was only fucking with you, Copain. Come on, Baratna. Hmm. There's history there, isn't there? Definitely. So, th this is a real so mixed far, bag. None of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. <laughs> no one's been blended yet. Brilliant. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now. Hmm. Okay, we need to get this job done then and, uh,. Head back. What we got here? Credit card? Arlen is right. That Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. Okay, what we got here? Hydroponics. Nothing like fresh herbs and spices to go with dry kibble. Well, at least it's seasoned dry kibble, hey? Oh, is this the kibble? Looks like porridge. Food in the belt is never fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. Mm, not surprised. It doesn't look appealing, does it? Not one bit. Kibble I always think is dry. That looks goopy to me. That looks like, yeah, that kind of ETA, five minutes, drummer. protein stuff they were do, eating man. in the Matrix. Headed back to my room to suit up now. Uh, right, so we've done medbay. We've met the, the twins. What's down here? Another ladder. All right here, let's give it a boom. Oh, we do need to go back to the uh, the suit up room. Ah, these these the uh, quarters. Ah, drummer's quarters. Yep. Here we got. We're opposite Costello. We haven't met Costello yet. Maya fits in well for her first time in the belt, despite whatever Philota this book taught her. Uh, the jewel of the belt, Lang Belter Essentials, low cost and hassle free docking tips, adults only, Ergo's top bars, brothels and casinos, wow, that really is a uh, Martian's guide to the belt, <laughs> oh crikey, right, well she got ship's manual, somehow I am not surprised to learn that Maya keeps a copy of our ship's manual by her bedside, well if she's the engineer that's a good thing right? Discharge letter. I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine. But Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. Wow. The Martian Congressional Republic Navy has processed your discharge from the Martian Net Army forces. Effective immediately. Status dishonorable. 
Reasons for your discharge include, but are not limited to, insubordination, three counts, dereliction of duty, two counts, sharing anti-Martian media literature and sentiment, two counts, fraternization, one count. The MCRN does not tolerate divisive behaviour within its ranks. In order to prosper, all citizens must work to serve the Republic and advance Martian interests. By, fa um, by failing in your duties to Mars, you have impeded the cause to which billions of Martians have dedicated their lives. Ooh. So everyone has got a backstory, and it's not a pretty backstory. So when we saw earlier, when we were wondering what happened to the, the Navy ship, and we thought Martians, my brain stuck in the... Uh, the uh, 20th century that it is um, immediately thought of uh, aliens but of course human hum humanity is uh, populated uh, Mars in this time I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed where are we by the way whose quarters did we just come into Tran K Tran oh this is Khan isn't it oh she likes puppy oh look at the doggo and the kitty cat oh, okay well, she likes cats and dogs, and she's not all bad. What do we got here? Uh, this is A. Morozov. Let's have a look. That's Arland, then, isn't it? Okay, what's he got? Opa armband. Is that like Grandad? Isn't it Opa Grandad in Dutch? I told him he couldn't wear OPA symbols for the oh, sake OPA. of crew okay. unity. So instead, he displays it here, like a petulant child. He does come across as a petulant child, yes. Yes, he does. Captain Frost. Antipoch. Okay, this is interesting. What about those brothers? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. He's got a puzzle. If he doesn't secure that thing before we come out of thrust, we'll all be finding pieces in our beds. Again. Hmm. Again. Okay. Right, let's suit up and head off to our first oh we got an art we didn't check a drawing here we go i got a lot closer to a captain's chair than i would have expected and a lot further away from anything else ah do we have a child i got a lot closer to a captain's chair than i would have expected and a lot further away from anything else beginner's space flight orbital mechanics if sally launches into orbit with a uh perigee radius of uh, 8,500 kilometers and an apogee radius of 12,500 kilometers. Calculate the altitude above Ceres where Sally has reached a point 90 degrees past the perigee. Right. And you colored it in. I would do that as well because I have no idea what they're talking about. That seems like. Those gave me everything a job, a purpose, a community until he took it all away. Okay, so what is this then? We've got four messages um, to us from Bors, I take it. You think the docks at Ceres are dangerous. Every Ubicha, I don't know, in the belt will be after you, dead or alive, I told them. This is, you know, the English in this is like, obviously it's supposed to be like this, but it's, it's like reading the review comments on Amazon or something, doesn't it? It's, it's Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dawes into UNN forces. You return to the apartment in Hermes Square in nearly two months. As such, we summarise that you have left Sarah Station. Your arrest warrant remains in effect throughout the belt, and if found, you will be returned to Ceres uh, for indictment and incarceration. However, we are prepared to re-examine the charges against you should you find yourself in possession of information regarding Anderson Dawes' whereabouts. If you wish to speak further on this matter, our office is willing to compensate you for your time and commitment to the appropriate carriage of justice on Sarah Station. So that's to Detective Yevgeny Cobb. Took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dawes or Star Helix noticing. Okay, the first bank of Ceres, or Ceres, Ceres, sorry. Um, starting monthly balance, 43 CNY, whatever that is. Ending monthly balance 43, Tran transactions none, deposits none, okay. We're poor. Never had time for dating on series. Now I've got plenty of time 
and no one to date. Yeah, life throws these curveballs at you, doesn't it? So, uh, hey there, Camina. Due to lack of payment, we regret to inform you that your account with low grav, no pressure, LGNP has lapsed. We hope that this is a sign that you've found the connection you've been looking for. As a premium, as, sorry, as a premier website for singles and open-minded couples on series, uh, LGNP wishes you the best. If your circumstances change, we'll be proud to offer you a full encrypted, uh, discretion guaranteed services to you again upon receipt of owed fees. Best of luck out there. Enjoy. What's this? A series charm. A little token of my childhood in the series. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. Lovely. Right, let's get suited up then. I think we've done all the needful. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. Hate me all you want. You are many things, Belta Loader, but you are not a traitor. You love your Bell. And right now, Bell is me. His accent's all over the place, isn't it? It's got a bit of British Londoner in there. It's got a bit of. A bit of, I don't know, all sorts in there. A bit of Caribbean urban. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Obviously, that's the Belter accent, I guess. I'm busy. You're late. Quit tinkering and get your helmet. We're about to push off. Don't fucking make me. <laughs> Mouthy Martian. Dumbass engineer. Well, um, I think she's obviously play playful. So let's go for dumbass engineer. Typical engineer. Smart hands. But caca for brains. <laughs> I already beat Arlen's ass today. Guess Virgil can handle one more patient. Oh, press the button prompted on the screen to complete the action. Oh no, we are generally having a fight. Okay, a tutorial fight. I should put you in the brig for this. You'd have to catch me first. I was waiting for like a, a timing flash or something, but it doesn't appear to be one. I think just go as soon as you can. Oh, we're in zero G. Come on. Let me hear it. You got me. <laughs> Fuck yes. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you were kicking my ass for a minute. I thought you had me again. That was a good move. <laughs> a little cheap, a little weak, a little cheap. Kind of a cheap shot, though. Yeah. Shh. If it was a cheap shot, I would have smashed your brittle belter bones against the ceiling. Don't believe everything they taught you in the Martian Navy. My bones are just as strong as yours. I didn't believe a single thing they taught me at that fascist brainwash factory. That's why I'm here with you brittle bitches. <laughs> okay, they got, they've got some good attitude. I quite like that. Right, look at the debris field. Alan and Rayan have begun breaching the airlock off the bridge. Once we're in, we are going Holy to- Holy shit, Io! Usually Io is covered up by these dust streams that fire oh, off right. of its poles after volcanic activity. But it's clear as day. Brilliant. It's... It's the moon. It's too big to be a space station. Earth colonies. It's the moon. 
It looks like any other moon, pale and lumpy. Don't you talk about her like that. She's a beautiful volcanic goddess. <laughs> I usually only look for what could kill me out here. But it's nice getting to see it through your eyes. Even if they're the eyes of an inner who doesn't know her ass from in her oxygen bulb. You mean an inner who pile-drived your ass into a ceiling, right? <laughs> Let's head out. Oh. Just remember to... Woohoo! <sighs> the first... Tentative... Feelings. Oh, she's breaking her cool demeanor. Her ice... Character. Quite like her as just the... Um, the kick-ass, no-nonsense lady. As I was saying, remember to keep your weight back when you land. Still, not bad for an inner who's barely been in the belt for a month, eh? Reminds me when Rayana and I were learning to spacewalk. One time, he crashed right into the hole and shit his back suit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it! Cool up! Whoa! Ah, airlock is open, Exo. Uh, good. Let's see what we have in here. I'm surprised there's no safety lines or anything. If you do any sort of like adventure in the tree, even in trees, you've got to have like a safety line which you've always got to be connected to. But these guys are just jetting around space. Willy nilly. Right, here we go. Is this going to be some sort of hideous space monster infection throughout the ship? There's definitely been an anonymous to on uh, tone throughout the build up to this. And the fact that all the characters obviously got a checkered past means that, you know, in morality's eyes, they're expendable. Ugh, fucking table scraps. Oh, there's heads floating. Oh my goodness me. Yo, Baratna. She's crazy. <laughs> Boop. I shouldn't have laughed at that, but that was funny. Just breathe. Keep your head down. It's okay. Now say puke in your suit, okay? That you won't choke to death on your own sick. Not helpful. God, so what is it what has happened here? Have they they've definitely been cut off, haven't they? they? Haven't been ripped off. Enough. Whoever put out this welcome gift for us is long gone. And they left behind a big ass ship that must have some valuables still on it. So get scavenging! Cox, you get over here and start scavenging. You all have your orders. Hurry up and do your job so we can get back home. Yeah. Quick as you like. Our engineers looking a little bit queasy. Sure, should be fine. Right, so. Oh my god, can we just bump into these heads? Oh, we can. Oh. Oh my goodness me. Right. So I think we'll leave it there for the first episode of The Expanse. Interesting. What has befallen the crew of this ship? A Navy ship. So these would be well armed service personnel. And they've all been beheaded. And their heads left here in the. I take this is the con, is it? Yeah, the UNN Urshinabi. Urshinabi? Urshinabi? Urshinabi. Goodness me. Right. So, what has befallen the crew of the Urshinabi then? Well, we will continue this on my second channel. Uh, if you want to follow with the adventure and the story, and uh, as we discover what the mystery is, 
make sure to uh, head over there and um, continue this saga. But for now, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.